Hey everyone, in this video, we will be solving FRQ number 1 of the 2022 AP Calc AB exam. The scoring guidelines aren't released by the college board yet, so my solutions are just an estimation of what they will look like. Question 1 tells us that from 5am to 10am, the rate at which vehicles arrive at a certain toll plaza is given by A of T equals 450 times square root of sine 0.62t, where T is the number of hours after 5am and A of T is measured in vehicles per hour. Traffic is flowing smoothly at 5 a.m. with no vehicles waiting in line. We can immediately tell that this is a rate in problem. In part A, we are told to write but do not evaluate an integral expression that gives the total number of vehicles that arrive at the toll plaza from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. To find the total number of vehicles that arrive at the toll plaza, all we need to do is integrate the rate at which the vehicles arrive. We are also given the bounds t equals 1 to t equals 5, so our answer would be an integral from 1 to 5 of a of t dt. In part b, we find the average value of the rate in vehicles per hour at which vehicles arrive at the toll plaza from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. To find the average value of a function, we multiply 1 over the given interval by an integral of the function. In this case, we take 1 over 5 minus 1 and multiply that by an integral of a of t using the same bounds. We also have to find the actual value, so we plug this into our calculators. We end up with 375.537 and we use the units given to us in the problem. Part C asks us, is the rate at which vehicles arrive at the toll plaza at 6 a.m. increasing or decreasing? Give a reason for your answer. To find if a function is increasing or decreasing at a point, we take the derivative of the function at that point. For this problem, we need a prime of 1. We plug this into our calculator and we get 148.947. This number is positive, meaning that the rate is increasing. Now we need to provide a reason, and we can say something similar to the rate at which vehicles arrive at the toll plaza at time t equals 1 is increasing because a prime of 1 is greater than 0. Part D tells us that a line forms whenever a of t is greater than or equal to 400. The number of vehicles in line at time t for a less than or equal to t less than or equal to 4 is given by n of t equals an integral from a to t of a of x minus 400, where a is the time when a line first begins to form. To the nearest whole number, Find the greatest number of vehicles in line at the toll plaza in the time interval a less than or equal to t less than or equal to 4. Justify your answer. This part seems a bit more complicated, so let's break it down. We are looking for the greatest number of vehicles in line, which means we are trying to find the absolute maximum of n of t. In order to find this, we first have to identify the critical points by setting n prime of t, which is the same as a of t minus 400, equals to 0. We can simplify this to a of t equals 400. On our graphing calculators, we can graph a of t and the line y equals 400 and find the critical points by identifying the intersections. They are t1 equals 1.46937 and t2 equals 3.59971. To find the absolute max, we also have to test the bounds of the interval, which are a and 4. A happens to be equal to T1 since T1 is the first time A of T is greater than or equal to 400. Lastly, we make a table with three potential times on the left and N of T, the number of vehicles, on the right. We know that A is 1.46937, so we can find all the values of N of T using a calculator. We see that 71 is the absolute maximum, and then we can write out our statement. 71 vehicles is the greatest number of vehicles in line in the time interval a less than or equal to t less than or equal to 4. So that was FRQ number 1 of the 2022 Calc AB exam. Personally, I took this exam around a month ago and I felt that number 1 wasn't too bad. Part D was a little confusing though. Let me know in the comments what you thought was difficult in this FRQ. If you haven't taken the AP exam yet, reviewing old FRQs like this one is a great way to study. Make sure to leave a like if this video helped. I'll also do other FRQ videos in the future.